In this video, I'm going to show you how Fronter is actually quite similar to Windows. At the top here is my documents, and in here we can save final versions or copies of things like lesson plans, schemes of works, in fact any important documentation to do with school. Typically it's going to be around 10 meg or 20 meg, so this is a space which is not really suitable for very large image files. We do need to keep this place organized, so we need to use some folders. So you can see my documents is just down here. I click on to folder and this will give me the opportunity to create one. I'm going to call this lesson plans and I'll put a description in and this can be for example saying that uh, this is going to be for my e-learning department if I type it right, e-learning department 2009 lesson plans. So just a little description there. And I can save that by clicking on the save button. Now you can see that I have a folder which has been created. Now what is a folder if there's nothing in it? So what I can do is move along the line and go to upload file. When I click on to here, I can see that I've got 10, 10 meg here and I'm going to upload a file. So instead of sort of losing my documents after every year, I can browse and look for, ah, there happens to be a lesson plan. So I'm going to double click onto there. So there you can see there is the path. I browsed and looked for my lesson plan. I found the file and double clicked onto it and the file name has ended up there. Okay, so now I've got my lesson plan, which has come up as the title there, and I could put in a description to say that this is an ICT lesson for And then I can just save that. So it's now going to upload my lesson plan. And now you can see that my lesson plan has come up here. So now I can just move that into the folder by ticking to say, well look, I want to tick this and select this lesson plan and put it into here, thank you very much. So now that I've ticked it, I can click on to move and that will prompt me to move it into ooh, the folder lesson plans. So I'll click into here, click on to move. And now you can see that it's gone. Or has it? If I now highlight lesson plans and click onto the folder, there is my lesson plan contained inside the folder. My personal room, my documents, lesson plans, and here we are. I've got my lesson plan now in the folder. 